Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for April 15th to the 21st. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys are like a live person reading with me, or you'd like to find out what your life purpose is using astrology, or you would like to take my six weeks long travel course. I've been reading Charles since I've been 14 years old, so I got a lot to teach you. If you guys are interested in taking that course, all the information is in the description box below. All right, Pisces, we're going to be looking at your day today. Your love interest feelings, the box release and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's going to have my Pisces romantic love life April 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we got April 15th, April 16th, April 17th, April 18th, April 19th, April 20th, April 21st. This is your love interest feelings. This is the Block Schlazer challenges this week. Oh, I got the Magician card energy. This is the overall energy here. All right, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck. All right, so some decisions is the overall energy this week. Some kind of choice being made. And the blockage and the obstacle is the magician card energy. So I feel like there could be a sense of I want this to be an ideal situation. I really want to make sure that everything's in line and everything's in place. Because I'm not sure if this is an ideal situation. But I want to wield my power here. So that's part of the obstacle or blockage. Now, remember this is going to be April 15th, April 16th, April 17th, April 18th, April 19th, April 20th, April 21st. And if the day-to-day -day is confusing at all, Pisces, just stick with me till the end. I'm gonna talk about your love interest feelings more into the block and challenges in the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both, let's jump right in. All right, so, Lots of communication coming in here on the 15th. What's this communication about? And or someone's trying to move ahead very fast. Okay, so a lot of energy coming in. All right, what's gonna happen with my Pisces Romantic Love Life April 15th to the 21st? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what's this about? Oh my goodness. Look at that. The communication is gonna be about love, Pisces really good so far okay let's keep going okay so i hear love bombing okay all right so what's got my pisces romantic love life april 15th to the 21st show my cards you to see show me the cards i need to see. okay someone really wants to fix and heal the situation they feel very depressed they feel upset I see. That's why the love bombing. Okay. There's a lot of effort being put into the situation for love. And it's like, look at me. Look how upset I am. Sapphire Pisces Romantic Love Life, April 15th to the 20th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Yep, they're like, I'm single and available to pursue where there's a sense of isolation or separation or lonely energy. Okay, let's lose this deck. It's not my Pisces romance. I love it. April 15th to the first. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Yeah, there's someone very addicted to you, very attached, or very obsessive. Okay. Let's keep going here. It seems like there's some indecisions, there's some indifferent energy coming in here on the 16th. What's that about? This person's gonna show up at your door, all right? They Or they could send you something through Amazon or the UPS guy, okay? So um, you could be getting some kind of package or they're gonna just show up, okay, at your house. Okay, what's this about? To try to bring things together. So it seems like before there was communication, wanting things to go by very quickly, you know, feeling very lonely, very attached, and talking to you about love. 
Yep, here we go again. Deep love connection here. And yes, there's a, okay, I said I don't understand why they're showing up, okay. There is a want to seduce you here, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, so they're gonna show up to seduce you. Um, I feel like they feel like you're moving in a new direction and they want to be like Pisces I'm trying to hang on to you I'm trying to regain your confidence here I see by the 17th there's going to be massive changes here we see there's some communication letter message document let's spend time together let's be together let's go out all right so they're they're concerned you have a secret crush oh my goodness ah oh, okay <laughs> so they're love bombing you and they're strongly attached and they're showing up here and they're trying to get control of the upper hand around the situation because they are concerned that you have some kind of secret crush on someone that it's like they're gonna you're gonna get away you know from them okay uh okay let's keep going this person's talking to you about long-term emotional happiness a future together you know, having a family, doing the whole, you know, house, long-term commitment stuff here with the Ten of Cups energy. And concerns about ending or losing you, the Death Card energy, uh, trying to end and stop and complete these disappointments. Really trying to assert themselves, making some power moves towards you, okay? Mm-hmm. You're starting to see some kind of signs or synergies here. Um, you feel like there's no coincidence. There's a defending of a position here. It's like there could be multiple people maybe against this connection. So it's like trying to defend a position here. There's a message coming in that you've been waiting for, Pisces. This person's like, I want to be your main person. We see that there's somebody from before, a karmic situation or an ex-partner who is about to take a risk or leap of faith here, or is, is gonna have some kind of strategy here, okay? There's a strategy going on here. Okay, what I hear is there's a lack of direction which is making uh, somebody feel cautious. I see you guys are also getting some kind of spiritual signs uh, again here on the 20th. So pay attention to the signs here on the 18th and pay attention to the signs here on the 20th. Okay, listen to your intuition on this day. Like you could be getting some kind of dream. You could be getting some kind of sign, some kind of message. Just pay attention to it. We see that there is this deep love and wanting to have this conversation, but there's like a lot of heat between you and this person. Because they're concerned that, you know, maybe they're not being completely honest. Like there's some kind of deceptions here. And we see there's this strong feeling. So, so far, let's just see what's going on. Okay. I can't let you go. I'm addicted to you. And they are trying to really, um, there's like a magnetic attraction. But there is some concerns that you have some kind of secret crush or secret admirer. There's some kind of signs or synergies. You feel like there's no coincidence. And there's, there's a, this person's really trying to push up and take a risk leap of faith because they have these strong feelings. But there is concerns that somebody isn't being honest about an ex-partner or karmic connection, okay? So let's keep going here. Wow, okay. Yep, there's a person, this person is trying to assert themselves here. This is the 21st. So there's a power move being made here to get things under control, to have a sense of routine, okay? To, uh, cause think about what the four, this emperor is a four energy stability stableness okay i want things done in a certain way i want it organized structured okay that's king energy organized structured i'm taking a leadership role to do that because there's concerns about some kind of complacency or getting stuck in the middle and there's some air of mystery or secrets here there's a deep love connection here heart card energy and we see that there is something about money and finance around this situation or trying to buy your affection too. Wow, okay. So, or there could be concern that you have a secret crush with somebody that you work with or something about a work situation here. Okay. Wow, this, this reading is definitely um, all over the place, isn't it? Okay. All right. So 
single and available to pursue isolation or separation. I, I love you. There's people involved in the situation, power moves being made. We see an ex-partner, an infringing party, and somebody was being dishonest. I love you deeply. Bottom of the deck. Okay, some kind of uh, divine timing here. We see a relationship and a heart heart conversation is about delaying this. There's strong chemistry and passion. We see more than just friends wanting to make an effort and needing to make a decision. I want to heal the situation and bring things together. There's communication, letter message, document about these disappointments. There's somebody who was like, I want to be your main person. There's a deep love, but we have to keep this secret. What? Okay. Deep love, showing up at your door, massive changes because of an ending, a message you've been waiting for. There is a lot of intuitive synergies, some messages here, and concerns about stuck energy. Wow, that's really deep. Okay, so let's just get this straight here. Okay, let's just get this straight. This person's love bombing you, and they're concerned that you are dealing with another person, but on the same token, they want you to keep this connection secret <laughs> until they can get things under control when it comes to this karmic situation. What? What? Okay, all right. Uh, can, so there's communication about indifference and regaining confidence for long-term happiness. Trying to defend the position, cautiousness about trying to get control over this situation, have a sense of routine. Now I see why the magician card is here. I need everything aligned in a certain way. You know, I want to make sure I have an ideal situation. Magician card energy. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm sorry, Pisces, I don't mean to have a trigger reading for you guys. I, I have to just switch reads what's here. Please don't come to me in the comments. All right, so how does your person feel about you? They, this, they, you? They've been waiting for you. They're waiting for the right time here. They have deep love for you with the King of Cups energy. Um, they find you very attractive. They know that you know your value and worth. They may even want to take care of you or start a family with you with the Empress card energy, okay? Empress talks about motherly energy, fertility, pregnancy, okay? This person feels like you make them very happy and their concerns about loss of happiness because of a breakup. This person feels like they want to make some power moves towards you, but they're concerned about losing you because they want to be with you. This person is missing you and longs for your embrace once again. They're regretting something. They feel bad. They feel like they made some kind of mistake. They feel like they've made some kind of abrupt decision, sudden decision. This person feels like they want to heal the connection. They want something to change here when it comes to this family uh, situation. Oh my goodness, okay. So with the ex-partner card from my deck, it can be representing a family member, a friend, okay? If this is the same person, it looks to me like this person is doing what they're doing because they're trying to resolve something with a family situation. Um, so they're trying to hide the connection until they can defend their position and get things under control and have things in an ideal way. But then they're also concerned that you are secretly seeing someone else. Oh my goodness. Okay, what's the blockage? Magician card energy, which talks about wanting an ideal partner, an ideal situation. All right, there's a lot of regrets from the past. All right. Um, we see something about main person cards. So it could be you, it could be them, okay? So needing to be patient for things to come into balance, okay? Shock and surprise, uh, rather unexpected situation. Okay, now let's look at the overall energy. All right, so a truth is being spoken, king of swords energy and concerns about losing you. That represents loss. And we have King of Pentacles trying to make the wisest decision based on the long term. So there could be two individuals here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And there was there's concerns about being left out in the cold and really wanting a stable connection here. We see that there's an infringing party here, karmic person, could be a family member, friend, okay? And someone who is not being honest 
until the timing is right. So <laughs> there you go. It's like talking about, oh my goodness. Uh, so it's like hiding this situation from another person. Okay, there's concerns about some kind of criticism. There's some spying, watching someone from afar, and concerns about lack of effort. You're the wisest decision for me, Pisces. I want a long-term commitment with you, ring card energy, and I can't let you go. Obsessions. Okay, let's keep going. We see there's a celebration, party, and concerns about new love and wanting a long-term commitment. See, they're concerned that you, you know, may find someone else through this socializing because it looked like something around the 17th was talking about some kind of socializing or going out. And that's where this situation come, arises where they're concerned about some kind of secret crush. And there we see the party card and concerns about new love and wanting a relationship. Okay. All right, let's keep going. There's a, an offer, an abundance of fulfillment of desires, a strong temptation. We see travel, movement, or change, and concerns about feeling stuck. There's a cautiousness and hopeful energy about apologizing, reconciling. We see letter message document. We see something about a motherly energy and a state of confusion. Waiting around to see how things play out and an indecision is causing some stress. You're having a lot of uncertainty because of the shock and surprise about this opportunity, this offer. Energy. We see this meeting here. Shock and surprise about wanting to heal this situation. There's a lot of attention being given to you, but there's a cautious defensive energy about this friend. I see there's traveling here or movement or change and someone who feels desperate here um, and concerns about other people. All right, let's go going. So there's concerns about an ending of a connection and a shock and surprise about this travel or a strong will here. There's like this air of mystery or confusion about a house and a home and someone who feels like there's concerns about regrets or making a mistake. There's juggling about this decision to a pentacles energy and some concerns about flirting this week and this person who feels heartbroken and sad. We see this self-focus um, energy here and concerning about missing an opportunity and contemplating about should I give my heart to this person it's like there's this concern that you have a lot of people around you and there's a lot of over analyzing here and wanting to have long-term commitment page of Pentacles energy we see something about marriage long-term commitment and happiness we see someone from before or memories of the past or something from before is making someone feel stuck or stuck in the middle when it comes to this offer, Ace of Pentacles energy, because of burdens and responsibility or something weighing heavy on them. Oh, okay, wait, let's get some advice. Being clear cut here, you're dealing with someone who's going to be love bombing you that really is into you. Uh, however, and they are getting jealous of you and other people, but on the same token, they're trying to keep this connection secret from either a family member or a karmic connection. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's 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 get you guys some advice. There is a lot going on this week, but a lot of science. I'm sure you guys can attest to this if you are watching your sun rising sign. All right, so can I have some advice for my Pisces when it comes to the romantic love life for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? April fifteenth to the twenty first. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, you can get exactly what you want here. You're going to hit the bullseye. Um, it looks like you have dealt with this person before, so it's saying hello again. So they're saying hello again. Something will change here, massive changes. Fixing and healing a situation. You're going to be massive sh massively shocked this week. But if you are resilient here, and be careful about repeating the same patterns, things will come into balance. Yes, you're going to get answers this week. So the answers you've been waiting for are coming in. About an ending of a situation. Ending a cautious energy. But there's maybe some delays. You should expect some delays here. But you will get confirmation, spiritual confirmation. About these infringing parties. When it comes to money, family, long term. 
Communication will be your key this week. All right, don't forget to have fun. <laughs> I always cracks me up when I see that card. Don't forget to have fun and stay in a place of peace and harmony. It's gonna be really easy to get very emotional this week, but don't lose hope, star card energy. But don't be afraid to assert your personal power, okay? <laughs> All right, my beautiful Pisces. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below, Pisces. You know I want to hear you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, yes, my beautiful darlings, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple of days, and I will see you guys soon.